Welcome to the Deep Dive Coding Session. This session explains how to integrate Angular 4 in ASP.NET Core Web Application with Visual Studio 2017. Let's begin with prerequisites for this session. First of all, you need to install Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. And Node.js. Please find in this slide links to download them. The first step consists in creation of a default web application using Visual Studio 2017. As you will see, it takes only few clicks. Open Visual Studio. Then create a new project, select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Enter a name for your project, then click OK. Choose Web Application to get the default sample. Then click OK. After few seconds, the project is ready to build. In order to check if everything is OK, you can build the project. In case of failure, check options of the NuGet package manager. Allow NuGet to download missing packages. The goal of this session is just to create a simple Angular application. So we can simplify the content of the default HTML page and replace the sample by a basic hello world. Now we press F5 button to start the application in debug mode. And check if the famous hello world appears. Yes. The first step is completed successfully. The second step consists in the configuration of NPM to download Angular automatically. To add a NPM configuration file, click right on the project in the tree view, then click Add New Item. There are many templates provided with Visual Studio, so you can use the quick search. Choose NPM configuration file template. Let the default name, package.json. Click Add. You get an empty template. We will paste a valid NPM configuration file for Angular 4. Don't worry, at the end of this session, you will access to GitHub URL to get all resources. After saving the configuration file, NPM starts to download packages. When we display all files, we can see one folder per package, especially one for Angular. But the goal is to move Angular library and dependencies to the lib folder of the front-end root. Now the next step is to configure TypeScript. Angular 4 relies on TypeScript so we need to configure how to transpile scripts. To add a TypeScript configuration file, add a new item at the root of the project. Select TypeScript configuration file and let the default file name. Click Add button. We will change some compiler options. TypeScript will convert scripts with TS extension in JavaScript files. The most important is to change the output directory to generate all JavaScript files in the JS folder of frontend. Now we will configure Gulp to copy JS files from Node Modules folder to the lib folder. So for the moment the lib folder contains only jQuery and Bootstrap getting with the web application template. The Node Modules folder contains libraries getting with Node Package Manager. We will use Gulp to make the copy. Add a new Gulp configure file at the root of the project. Insert instructions to make the copy of Angular library and dependencies in the default gulp task. Go to Task Runner Explorer tab. Now you can see a task called default. If you run it, libraries specified in the configuration file will be copied. Don't forget to run the task every time you change the gulp configuration file. By example when you add a new library. 
The next step consists in configuration of system.js to load modules compiled using the TypeScript compiler. To do that, we add a new JavaScript file in the lib folder called system.js.config.js. We paste a version of this file based on the quick start provided by Angular. We adapt it to fit with the architecture of our web application. npm refers to the folder where node libraries are stored. In our example this is the lib folder. app refers to the folder where the Angular application is. For the moment this folder doesn't exist but we expect to generate it in JS folder. In the packages section, main refers to the entry point of our application. We expect to put it in main.js in the JS folder. Now we will create another JavaScript file in lib folder called system.js-angular-loader.js. This file is a part of the module loader of system.js. We will do a simple copy-paste of the example provided with the Angular Quick Start. The final step consists in the creation of the Angular application. We will create an entry point, a module, and a component. We can put Angular scripts in a specific folder, in this example we'll call it Angular, we suggest to create it at the root of the project. We also add a app folder inside where we'll insert scripts of the Angular Quick Start Guide. For this session, the goal is just to integrate the Angular Quick Start sample in ASP.NET Core web application, so we have just to copy-paste the sample, no need to make changes. Now we create the three sample files, main.ts which is the entry point. app.module.ts and finally app.component.ts Now we copy paste angular sample for each file Our simple Angular application is ready, so we can compile. And as you can see, TypeScript compiler has converted TS files in JavaScript files in www.root.js. Now we have to add references to Angular libraries in layout.cshtml, and replace our simple hello world by the new markup specified in the app component. We put references in development environment, but of course if you want to deploy your application in production, you need to do the same job for staging and production environment. Now we replace the static hello world message by the markup specified in app.component.ts. If you remember, it was my minus app. If our application works correctly, we should obtain a new message hello angular generated by the angular component. Now it's time to press F5 to build the project and start the web application in debug mode. After few seconds we get the outcome. We get what we expected, the message hello angular. To conclude. We learned during this session how to configure the output directory for TypeScript, 
how to configure Gulp to copy files and how to use Angular in an ASP.NET Core web application. Get the code of this session in GitHub. Thank you.